Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2023 Striker 3212 toy hauler travel trailer. It's been a couple years since I've done a video on this model. Thought I'd give you all an update on the new 2023. So we'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Striker 3212 model here. And I just want to take a little bit of time here, show you some updates. I did this one again a couple years ago, and they've changed up some of the things in here. We'll start back here in the back, and then we'll kind of work our way forward. So right here we have an electric bed system. So right now I have it in kind of dinette mode or seating mode, and that lower bunk will flip down into a bed. There is a table that goes there as well. So if you are wanting to eat dinner or something, you can come right back here and eat back here in this section. You have an upper bunk as well. Now when they come in from the factory, they kind of stash the table right underneath the here. You have a black rubber diamond plate floor, quite a few heavy duty D rings here. And then the back section does kind of slope down so it makes it easier to come in and out with your toys. Stepping out onto the back patio here, they changed up the rail system here a little bit. This patio is rated for 1500 pounds when it's in patio mode. Up top there, you are prepped for a rear observation camera. You also have a couple lights back here as well. And then there's these little drop down, uh, kind of a vinyl heavy duty screen slash wall, privacy wall. It does have a section that rolls up. So you got screen to let some air flow through or you drop it down and it kind of blocks off everything for privacy. I'm just kind of looking up at our ceiling here. You can see AC ducts. There's some electric outlets up there as well. Uh, one of the ducted ACs is actually located back here also. Speaker back here as well. It's another speaker down there. You have the sliding glass door that'll take us out onto the side porch. Some overhead cabinetry, TV hookups up there as well. And then you have your entry exit door out the driver's side of the RV. And there's also these little vents. There's one on each side of the garage as well, allowing you to vent things for fumes when you're traveling down the road. Heat duct blowing out down there, digital thermostat, light switch, bed up and down button, and another light switch. Now going out onto your porch, kind of similar here. You have a little rail system here. Got your big awning out here above us. TV over here and a couple more outdoor speakers. And then this door here, when you do close it up, actually just flips up and latches into place to protect your TV. It's got some magnetic catches to hold the door down. And you also have a screen door here as well. Screen door on that entry exit door also you'll see once we get outside. Now up into the main portion of the RV area here, you have your kitchen on the right, some drawers and storage. A new feature for 2023 for them is an air fryer oven and then a three burner gas cooktop. So that part did change up. The color of the cabinetry also changed up as well since the last time I videoed one of these. You have a large microwave here, some overhead cabinets. They have an IRV technology radio here, a amplifier down here. Also another thing that changed up, they are prepped for inverters so you can add an inverter. And some of the electric outlets are set up to run off of battery power if you do the inverter. High rise spring sprayer faucet, you have a sink cover, undermount sink as well. And again, solid surface countertops. This is kind of a stone style countertop here. 
Over on this side, you have your gas and electric refrigerator right here. This is roughly about eight cubic feet. There's a little bit of storage up above there. But you have the freezer here with your on off controls, gas electric control. And then you have the refrigerator part down below. Nice big sofa here. That's one thing that's pretty cool on this model. A lot of these RVs can sleep, you know, eight people, but they seat two. So this one here does give you a little more seating area. Big windows on the back here. Pull down nightshades for blinds. TV up there is on a swing arm, so you can kind of maneuver it around. Your AC up here as well. Another indoor speaker here. And then over here, it is also prepped for an aftermarket Wi-Fi that you can buy the Gateway Connect and put in there. And then you have some overhead cabinets as well. Over here, we have kind of a little closet area. Pantry area, whatever you want to use it for. Electric box with the breakers and fuses down there. And some more storage on this side of the kitchen counter here. A couple heat ducts coming out there. And then we have the bathroom right here. So let's kind of start from the bottom and go up. So you have porcelain foot flush toilet here on the left. Step in shower. Got a heat duct in there as well. Some storage under your sink area. Medicine cabinet here. A couple lights I forgot to turn on right there. And some more overhead cabinets. Skylight up above. There is also a vent fan up there. A little shelf space back here with some uh, hooks on it as well. master bedroom up front here so this part changed up a little bit they kind of opened up that section instead of boxing it off so you can kind of shove some things underneath of there maybe some plastic totes or something electric outlet on each side of the bed as well a little drawer on each side of the bed and then you have hanging closet pretty deep closet actually and they got a little hole on each side so you could uh you know, kind of reach in and set things down there. There's a little shelf space up above your headboard area here. Generator, start, stop, hour meter right there as well. Some more storage across this area. Couple AC ducts here, another roof vent there with a fan in it. You also have TV hookups over there as well. There is a heat duct down there also. Sliding pocket door, or sliding door, not a pocket door, but sliding door here. So you have probably, I'd say, maybe 10 inches, maybe a foot roughly here at the bed. Got to kind of turn sideways at the foot of the bed just to kind of scoot by, but it's not terrible. It's And it is a camper king bed. So it's not as big as a house king, but it's bigger than a queen. So it's kind of an in-between. Put the specs for all this type of stuff down below for you in the description so you can check out more info on this stuff. All right, I want to head outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick. And then we're going to come back in, close her up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Striker 3212 toy hauler travel trailer here. Let's start here on the door side, kind of work our way around. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass exterior attached to an upgraded Asdale composite material instead of a cheaper wood Luon backer. It is foam block insulated, aluminum studded sidewalls. You have deep tent safety glass windows, lower black metal skirting, some vinyl graphics. 
power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV there. You have adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff, and you also have a manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. Now this one has a decent sized storage compartment right here on the front. You can see some of that aluminum tube framing here. It is inverter prepped. There is a solar disconnect right here if you do the solar system. There's a solar charge controller. It is prepped for tire link air pressure monitoring system that you can buy aftermarket. There's also a light right there as well. Baggage doors, a little bit thicker. They are a Kia-like system, so your key for your entry door also works your baggage doors. And it has a magnetic holder to hold it up. Looking down below right here, you can see there is power stabilizer jacks right here on the front. Also on the rear, you'll see when we get to the back. And in that little blue and red line sticking down there are hot and cold low point water drains for winterization. You have a large gas electric water heater right here. You have a cold water spray port, city water inlet, gravity fill fresh water tank is right here. And you also have your black tank flush there as well for cleaning out your toilet. And then you have your furnace exhausting out right there also. You have a triple entrance step getting you in and out of the door here. It's rated for 300 pounds. There's a little amber light down there to help you at night. You also have a traditional porch light up above your entry door there besides the LED light strip. Large folding entry handle. There's an electric outlet right here that is also part of the inverter prep. You'll see these little stickers. That means basically that this is wired for the prepping part. So if you put an inverter in it, it'll run your electric outlet. Three year limited structural warranty. Pretty important right there. Some brands are only one year. So that's nice. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually is in the RV world. Enclosed underbelly, extended season RV. So forced air ducted heat into the underbelly. Uh, you also have some insulation, covered bottom and all that type of stuff. Just trying to give you more of an extended season camping experience. Down below right here, you can see we are currently riding on Goodyear Endurance tires. You have aluminum wheels, easy loop hubs. Again, it is prepped for a tire link monitor system. I would recommend that so you can keep up with the tire pressure on your RVs while you're driving. Also, you have drum brakes on the RV. Now let's look under here real quick and you can see right underneath of there, the fresh water tank drain just up under here. And that uh, Dexter center point suspension right there as well. Kind of acts like shock absorbers for an RV. The porch here does have a foot that comes down to give it a little extra support. You've seen the TV and the outdoor speakers and stuff up there. Right there, you have the rear power stabilizer jacks along with a little side vent. Looking underneath the here, you can see your spare tire and your fuel tank as well. Back porch, you've seen that, but here you can kind of see it from ground level. Just up above, again, you have a couple docking lights there. You have that rear screen wall slash porch kind of set up there so you can drop that down if you want makes it kind of nice so at night time you know you don't have to put this away if it's a nice night obviously if it gets too hot out you're probably going to want to put the patio up so that the kids can sleep back there comfortably you also have prepping for the rear furion observation camera allowing you to see what's going on behind you when you're traveling down the road another nice safety feature to add Right here on the side, that black rectangle up there is prepping for the Lippert Stow and Go Portable Ladder. It's a telescoping ladder you can buy aftermarket. It'll attach right there, uh, telescopes down, allowing you to climb up onto your roof and inspect things and check it out. Then you just telescope it back in and throw it in a storage compartment, kind of forget about it. You don't have to worry about the kids climbing up and down, falling off and getting hurt. Light on this side as well. Your fuel station area right here to fill up your toys. 
or it will run the generator as well. You also have the area where you put the gas in, cable satellite inlets, 50 amp detachable power cord, entry exit door on this side as well. The black panels here are vent and maintenance panels for your gas electric refrigerator that you've seen when we were inside. Oh, I also forgot to mention that screen door slash uh, area right there, that window is prepped for the Lippert um, thin shade that you can buy aftermarket. It goes in there to block off that window if you want. Just kind of look down underneath the here real quick. You can see some of your dump area right here as far as a couple of your handle stuff goes right there. And then there is one more handle right up here. This one also had the second fuel tank on it. So that one is located up here. You can see where you fill that up. And that again goes to the generator, depending on if you get one or two fuel tanks. This one was also ordered with the Onan 5500 watt gasoline generator that you're seeing there in the compartment. Here on the side here, we have some informational stickers. This one is your main production date sticker, basically telling you production date. This one was built 5-9 of 23, two 6,000 pound axles. You have a gross weight of 12,800 pounds. That's axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined do not exceed that number. You have, uh, let's see here, tire sticker. ST23580R16E range tires with an 80 PSI cold rating. Make sure you keep up with your tire pressure. And then you have a cargo carrying capacity sticker here as well, kind of telling you, you know, how much fresh water and stuff it can also hold. So a few different stickers there, kind of going over some of that stuff. Power tongue jack, LED light strip built in on the front right there. You have manual override as well. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, seven way Bargman wiring plug, two 30 pound propane tanks under the hard bottle cover there. Metal lower section there. And then you have a three quarter fiberglass front cap with three LED light strips built in there. There is room back here for one or possibly two batteries depending on the size of the battery. And then you have the uh, little vault battery disconnect right there as well. All right, I wanna run back in here and show you what this thing looks like closed up real quick. So let's check it out. We'll be right back here on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2023 Striker 3212 model here. And I just wanna show you what it looks like all closed up here as far as the slide out's concerned. A lot of people always ask to see the slide closed. So when you are ready to close it, you have to come right back in here inside your entry door to your slide button. Now this is very, very important when you're opening and closing this to make sure that the floor is clean so that you don't run something over and possibly rip or damage your floor. So when this comes in, it kind of tilts upward just a little bit. Comes in right over top of the main subfloor. And then this is kind of a worm gear or ratchet gear slide system. So you might hear a little ratchety noise when it gets all the way in. It's kind of a little slip gear. But when it's in, you can see you are not really getting into your bathroom or your bedroom. Pretty much blocks that area off. Just kind of look in here. Could step around the sofa or on the sofa and get over if I really had to, to kind of get into my fridge. So if I'm stopping at a rest area or grocery store, I still could come in and load this up. I could also come in the backside door and come through here if my toy's not blocking me off as well. I could use my sink from standing here or the other side. So you could do a little bit of stuff in here. You could maybe cook if you had to without opening the slide, but again, wouldn't be very convenient to do, but it is possible. Fire up your gin, turn on your AC. You could use your microwave. 
hit the button and the slide goes right on back out. Again, when going out, make sure that you aren't about to hit any electric poles or water poles or something at your campsite. All right, folks, thanks again for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you are interested in keeping up with the videos. Try to do quite a few updates throughout the month. Thanks again.